What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jet Report. I'm your host. Actually, no. Welcome, everyone, to the very first episode of What the F is Going On. <laughs> Brian, I'm on the bus on my way home to have a pleasant evening. And then I get the news that Batgirl has been shelved. They have no intentions of releasing it in the theaters. And they have no intention, which is crazy to me, no intention of releasing it on HBO Max. Brian, just remind me how much the Flashpoint movie is. How much is it? What's the budget for this film? For, for Flashpoint. 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 Uh, rumor between 150 and 200. Okay. Plus marketing will take you up to like, if they did full marketing, you're going to be up close to 250 to 300. Okay. $90 million for Bad Girl. Already gone. Yep. Brian, Warner Brothers is going to look really bad. Really bad if they don't cancel Flashpoint. Leslie Grace, she was in um, in The Heights. You know, she was good. She was probably one of the few Dominicans that was up in there. You know, that movie, uh, the movie wasn't, I didn't know if it was representative of, of the culture that I grew up in Washington Heights, so. But she was fine. They're canceling her movie. They chose two great directors, right? Uh, not great. I mean, they were good directors. They, yeah, they that, uh, did Bad Boys 3, right? That, Bad Boys for Life was the, the granted, it's a COVID year, but it was mm -hmm. the biggest box office hit of 2020. So you would think they got some something may, good may come of this. I thought this is never going to work because none of this stuff ever works for me, when especially when it doesn't come to the Batman. The real Batman in the movie, whatever. So they cancel this movie. Leslie Grace has done nothing. Yet the flashpoint is still a go. Brian, this doesn't look good, Brian. Your thoughts on this? Well, I had I had flash I had flashbacks to is that scene in like Dark Knight Rises, like bat signals in the sky, and then they show Gordon takes the axe and he destroys him. <laughs> I'm like, is that David Zasnoff? Did he send the signal out? He gathered the cast and the director, and then he shattered the bat signal. He just the like that's right. Now, where do we stand with this? The movie is done. The movie is in test screenings. I read conflicting reports. So the first couple reports I read said the movie is unwatchable. That it that wow. test, screening, test screenings are so bad. That they wow. were like, we can't make this work on any platform. Any level. Wow. Then I started to read at least one report that said that aspect of it was like propaganda. Like that was like a little bit of studio covering its its hide. And maybe it wasn't so bad. So a little TBD on that, but that's what was floated out there. But to your point, a movie that's done, a movie that has Michael Keaton, a movie that has J.K. Simmons. I mean, these dudes are not used to getting just put on the cutting room floor uh, in perpetuity, but mm -hmm. and and you said out 90 to $100 million on this already. Uh, it's a decisive move. Now, it is something that we kind of predicted not necessarily with this project, but we did say all projects that were greenlit by the prior regime, let's not put these in stone. These are, Let's write these in pencil. And now we find <laughs> out there's an eraser for yeah. the but it's a Zaslav brand. <laughs> yeah, but but you're and look, I mean, David Zaslav, right? CNN Plus. How long was that alive? Thirty days? Twenty days? How much? Wonder Twins. Right, Wonder Twins. <laughs> so I, this is the thing, right? This this is clearly a pattern. Now he's going through the catalog, and he's purging, and this is kind of sending the strongest message that it doesn't really matter how far along the project is. If it's not up to whatever standard he's looking for, it's not. It's just not going to get out of the game. Which brings us back to the speed force elephant in the room. 
I'm 100% with you. I think, mm -hmm. especially when, you know, look, let, let's call a spade a spade. You've got a, a woman of color in the bat suit, as you say, who's done nothing wrong. We don't know what her performance would have looked like. We'll never know. But yeah. we do know she wasn't breaking the law or being arrested on a regular basis. Choking people out. You know, so, threatening people. Allegedly, but still a lot of, lot of trail there. And that individual, they, is obviously of a, is Caucasian, right? So there's going to be a backlash and it's already started. I think coming from the WBDC fan base to the name of this pod, WTF. <laughs> like, and the point is, if Batgirl's that bad, then there's a part of me that says, all right, I have a grudging respect for someone who's willing to eat that kind of money and axe a project. But if you do that, fair is fair. Yeah, I don't know how you can roll with this albatross. But I don't care. And then we've heard Flashpoint has played well, right, in test screenings. That's what we've heard. We heard it's good. Yeah, that's the difference but, right there. But the look is so bad that, like, I don't know that you can get away with this. And if you come with this movie next year, you're now increasing the opposition of people saying, why is this movie still alive when that other movie with a different ethnicity lead was killed for reasons unknown? For those people who watched Catwoman and were part of this screening for Batgirl, is it Catwoman in terms of horribleness? Because if it is, I mean, Catwoman was still put out in the theaters, which is, 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 is can you believe it? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. And I don't understand it to the point of this, Brian, because they're setting themselves, they're like, this is going to be bad PR, man. This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. And do what a 90 million, you're going to eat $90 million. Yet yeah, you're gonna put out a let's say 150, 200 million dollar movie out there with this baggage. And the only thing that you can tell me is that this is a good movie and you're pro I mean, I, I get it, it's business, but sometimes it's just it just ain't business, you know. Sometimes it just ain't. I think it also says something that you don't think it's good enough to even be on HBO Max. I'm like, well, let's let's go pull up the HBO Max catalog. There's a lot of crap in that catalog, right? There's a lot of good stuff, but there's a lot of garbage, right? And they leave it all up there for you to watch. So for you to be like, this doesn't have any place in our in our kingdom. I don't know. That's a little yeah. That's a little extreme, right? And 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 I think. It also says to me, look, if you're willing to eat $100 million, at some point, it's like, what's the difference between $100 million and $300 million? I mean, you're, you're, this is all traced back to new management, old management. Old management leaves you with a bunch of projects that you got to get through. So if you're going to start axing stuff, yeah. like be, be decisive and ax stuff, like rip the Band-Aids off. I mean, what, what difference does it make? I mean, you're going to take a big charge anyway. You know, if you got the cash to withstand it, why not? I mean, honestly, it's like at some point there's a part of me that's like, look, we haven't heard thing on Wonder Woman three. Just gonna point that out. Yeah. Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins have disappeared, as far as I can tell. So I'm just saying, look, if you don't want to be in business with them, fine, let them go. Like, if you don't want to be in business with Jason Momoa, buy him out. Like, I'm just saying, like, you at some point you might as well, if you're gonna be this aggressive and this cutthroat, you might as well go all the way and yeah. reset things exactly the way you want them to be. Otherwise it looks pretty, to your point, pretty weird from a PR standpoint. Why are you singling them out? Yeah. Uh, Cause at this point, Brian, it's been like, yo, listen, you know what? I know Aquaman made a billion dollars. Does it have the chance to make a second, an, another billion dollars? I don't know. I don't think so. That's not looking like it. The Amber Heard thing is going to cost them money. Yeah. Like if she's in that movie for 25 minutes, there's people that are going to be out there fighting that movie tooth and nail. You got all these things happening. You know what? It's like, like you said, if you're going to go, go all out, go all out. Yo, the DCEU doesn't exist. It's over. That's it. 
no Aquaman 2, no Flashpoint, no whatever else is coming. Blue Beetle, maybe. Because that has nothing to do with the DCEU. I would start from scratch and just be like, you know, whatever. This is gone. That's it. I, it's a, you know, it's a big L. It's a big L. But to not do it to the flashpoint is just going to send out mixed messages and people are going to, regardless of what you, of other, what people say, people are going to mis, not misinterpret. They're going to see it for what I think it is. It's like, yo, what the hell? I mean, you know, it's a, as I said, the third, it's a third rail subject. So tip to tread lightly, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to say, right. You know, we, we know what Ray Fisher's argument was, right. He claimed it was, claimed it was racist. Basically what happened to him. It's not a, okay. So now you're shuttering a Batgirl project, which was fronted by minority lead. Sounds like the ta Coates minority led Superman project has been shuttered. Like Thank God. you then shutter Michael B's Val Zod project uh, and all the executives that you brought in happen to look the same. I don't know, man. Like at some point, you have, at least people are going to start asking questions and not the kind of questions that you want to be facing. Pressing in, in that any down. Form. Nope. Right. I'm just saying, like, I, I got to point that out because I do feel like at some point people will be like, there's a pattern here of what's happening. And like, whether it's intentional or not, it's a look and it's not a look you ever want to carry in, in, in today's world. Listen, man, just when you think WB, I mean, I hope this is like, I think this is the bottom. We're at the bottom of the DCE. Well, universe. No, I think flashpoint being wiped is the bottom. That to me is like when they scrap, when they do the same thing to flashpoint mm -hmm. and you never see that film ever. Yeah. I think that will be like, that's the bottom. It's like we've, I don't know what you guys think. Let us know in the comment section below because this doesn't make sense. I mean, if it's that horrible, I mean, Catwoman, man, they, this, they can't be anything more horrible than that. And that's probably still lurking around somewhere. I mean, they, we just had Morbius come out. That, that's pretty bad. Like, it's a different studio, but still, like. Yeah, man, just put it out. HBO Max, let us decide. Yeah, this was whack. But at least you get eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know but uh and another what the f is going on brian you sent me uh and let me, let me preface it by saying this man because i you know what i'm going to say brian you've said it, it, it better than i will probably say this this is not a rock hating show i like the rock i like the rock is what made the wwe dope You know, it, to be truthful about this, you know, the role, the best role he's ever played is The Rock, and he hasn't let it go. And in this article, Brian Forbes, his plan seems to be that he wants to create the Black Adam universe. I guess The Rock figures. We have the spider verse. Why not the black Adam verse? Yeah, that sounds good. Starring me, <laughs> the rock. And, and people think I'm crazy. When I say the things that I say about the rock, I have nothing against the rock. The rock does what he does and he's earned every right to do what he wants to do, whatever. But I'm just gonna call him out because he said that we the fans are his boss is on tape he said that and i'm just a fan that's um dissatisfied with the service i didn't ask for rampage why are you bringing me rampage i didn't ask for skyscraper i didn't ask for san andreas what is this? And now we get a trailer that is just the rock standing there looking mean. 
beating up other people because he's the rock. He's, you know, they, I, I'm still holding on to, and, and by saying that I think Henry Cavill will show up in this film, maybe, I don't know, but I think he will because of the relationship they have. But Brian, that doesn't make any sense, Brian. Well, it, it does make sense in the sense of what we know about how the rock as a sh as a member of hollywood has liked to operate especially right. as he's become more popular uh, and, and more powerful but i think the genesis of this in the forbes article it, it, it's not indirect it's the rock's own instagram right so the rock it, the language has changed and and it's interesting because the response of the fans has it's starting to started to change and that's to me like the watch out moment of all this because yeah. up until now the rock was he was promoting he was self-promoting but he was playing ball in the sense that he was talking about like i just i want to i want to make dc huge like out you know i want to usher in a new era for all of dc and i want to be like at the vanguard of that okay fine we've talked about all the other problems dc has that warner brothers needs that mm -hmm. but two things he tweeted after the release of super pets put on instagram change the narrative so i'm gonna spoil this i don't think enough people are gonna see super pets to care but apparently the rock is dwayne johnson's crypto he's the voice of crypto but in the stinger for super pets when i read that Jack brian Adam and his pet show up to basically antagonize superman in super pets a rock produced film that he's the lead of as a voice he then put up an additional message saying there are big plans to expand, not the DC universe, the Black, Black Adam. Adam DC universe. And that did not slide because immediately you started to see the responses come in basically saying, wait a minute. Like, even if they're fans of The Rock, they're like, DC is not all about Black Adam. Like, it's what about big. Batman? What about Superman? What about Wonder Woman? What about Green Lantern? Like. What is this idea that you're creating your own DC universe in your own image? And that's the lead character that did not seem to fly. And that to me was pretty significant. As we look ahead to this movie, he may have overstepped. He may have, you know, maybe it's his ego. Maybe it's, he's not as in touch with this maybe. audience, but he definitely touched the nerve and you're getting people now pushing back saying, wait a minute, we, even if we like The Rock, even if we're excited to see Black Adam, we do not want an entire DC universe that is a pyramid with Black Adam at the top. He said it in the beginning, Brian, the, the, the what, what, what was it? The power structure is going to change or something like that? Yeah, and I think people- the Hierarchy. That. Yeah, but I think people interpreted that as like, okay, Black Adam's powers, which are godlike, yeah. would be equivalent to like a, a Superman who kills. But now we find out he just wants every, they want every storyline to emanate from his character. And that's not what, that's not what the MCU is about. That's not what this genre is about. It's like, if you want to do that, I have a great idea for you. Next January, I want you to do a pay-per-view of your own Royal Rumble. You get 20 other superheroes to put on Stinglicks, get in the ring with Black Adam. You can toss them over the top. There it is. That's your Black <laughs> Adam universe. We're all good. We don't need to see... 20 films where Black Adam is the hub of that. Even if this movie is good, people don't want that. I was excited to see Black Adam when it was announced over 10 years ago. Exactly. That's, that's when I was Iron excited. Man. That's before Iron Man 1 came out. That's when, that's when I was excited. Not now. Now, not what it has turned into. Again, oh, you hating on The Rock. I ain't hating on The Rock. I'm telling you what's happening. And it's showing. It's in your face. Read the article. Yeah, that's the issue. It's, it's not even about The Rock. It's like name one. There is no actor, actress, character for which I would say what he posted is a good idea. Like, 
we can we hold up Christopher Reeve Superman. You can hold up Rob Pattinson Batman. You can hold up RDJ Iron Man. I wouldn't want to see an entire universe connected solely to them. I don't yeah. care how good they are. We need yeah. you need variety. You yeah. need a mix. You need that's yeah. the whole point of what made the end game in Infinity Saga work was that there was contrast. There was a cheat. Like you can't do it this way. Yeah. And that's why the fans push back because they know better than that. The fans of this genre know better. The comics are not built that way. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Because we had had a conversation um, about we got to see what the box office does to know whether we're going to at least have a, 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 a sit down about the future of the DCEU and what his plans may be. Brian, in my opinion, if I was Aslov, with or without The Rock and the success of this movie is not what you want to do. It's not about what you want to do. You don't get that seat at the table because I know how he works. I think it's dead on arrival. I mean, honestly, we, we watch our other show. We go through the numbers, but between Shazam, what's likely to happen to Shazam 2, Super Pets being a disappointment at the box office, and I just think Black Adam with an impossible bar to get over. I think Zaslav's going to have all the ammunition he needs to sit in a room and say, look, you may be one of the biggest, most widely known stars in the world, but you haven't demonstrated in the superhero genre that you are a reliable blockbuster moneymaker to the level we need. Discussion over. And that's a billion dollars. It's a billion dollars. If any of a billion dollars, I'm sorry. Jason Momoa was able to do it. Why can't The Rock, who's a bigger star, do it? He hasn't done it other than with Fast and the Furious, correct? Yeah, which, as I said, you can only, he elevated the franchise, but you can't give him the credit for it because he didn't invent well, yeah. it. It wasn't, yeah, again. That, and The Rock should take lessons from that because that's an ensemble picture. Yeah. I mean, Vin Diesel's obviously the lead, but like part of the reason the franchise works is because there's so many good characters in them. But yeah, no, I, but to me, this comment and the blowback that started is not going to help the box office for this film. It's not going to help the buzz. If he keeps on this path, you're going to have a lot of people that are angry by the time this movie comes out. You'll have oh, fans, yeah. but you're going to have more people that are angry and like, I don't want to see this really succeed because I don't want to see 20 Black Adam-centric films. Again, Brian, all we've seen in these trailers is Black Rock. <laughs> all we've seen is this dude standing there being mean looking mean and saying what what i do that's it what have we we haven't seen anything new from this what have we seen that's like oh my god is it the rock is that's how we is that what what we're supposed to react to the rock in his suit black adam oh my god look at black adam look at the rock in black adam look at his physique that's what we're supposed to be in all of i'm sorry brian i've been saying this for a minute like I, tracy said it a lot yo when tracy used to yo he was worse than me when tracy used to talk about the Rock, I think one of the biggest things I remember him saying that this is just one big ego trip. And that's what exactly what it is, man. And and that was over a year ago, two years ago. And look, it's, it's just playing out. I, I understand. I, I speak to people who are fans of The Rock, that they like The Rock. Cool. But for me, it ain't about The Rock, yo. It ain't about The Rock, especially not in... DC or, or Marvel, whatever the genre may be, it's not about that one person, you know? It's the character that they play. I don't sweat Chris Evans because he's, he's Chris Evans. I sweat him because, yo, he's Captain America. Same thing with Robert Downey Jr., regardless of how that turned out or whatever happened there. Yeah, but to that point, 
those two had no, no problem sharing in Captain America's Civil War, and that helped elevate that movie. They had no problem having Chadwick Boseman come into that movie as Black Panther. That's part of why the great films in this genre work, is because there's collaboration, there's sharing. You put the ego aside to make a better product. Ironically, The Rock in 2007 probably was better suited to make this movie because he wasn't yet the mega Hollywood star that he is now. And he might have been more amenable to a more balanced Take, portrayal where he was taking the direction. Group. Yes. Yeah. And now he's out of control. There's there's nothing, I don't, I don't believe there's nothing that can be done with regards to having Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson do what he doesn't want to do. We're past that, I think. And it, 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 it is what it is. He can do whatever he wants. It's what separates, it's one of many things that separates him from Arnold because Arnold, even at the height of his powers, was always willing to be directed by James Cameron, John McTiernan. Like he, he took that direction. And The Rock's got to do that if he wants to not just have hundreds of millions of followers on social media, but actually be remembered as a true sort of titan of cinema. He needs to be able to do that. Yeah, and he's, no, I don't care what nobody says, that he's nowhere near that. Predator, you kidding me? Running Man? Running Man, yo? Holy you remember Running Man? Two, True Life. Commandos? Term, the Terminators? That was way back, too. Kindergarten Cop? Kindergarten Cop was dope. Yeah, that was a huge movie. Twins, Twins was dope. <laughs> and that's what, but that's what I mean. But look at the directors, right? Ivan Reitman, as I said, John McTiernan, James Cameron. He's working with the best filmmakers, and he's allowing them to develop the story and direct him. And that's how you get Arnold, who was convincing as a, as a villainous cyborg, and convincing as sort of a goofy comic, you know, side. That That's... Always, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger is underrated as an actor. I don't care what anyone says. If you go yeah. back and watch the range that he had to do, yeah, he had a distinctive look and, and sound, but that guy was able to do different characters within different movies. Absolutely. You know, Brian, I was thinking That's a whole about, other show. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah, I was, but I, everything that you're saying, I was thinking about in terms of the comparisons that people make from Arnold to, to The Rock. There's, there's, he, there's no comparison, man. There's no comparison. Let me know in the comments says, you think I'm hating on The Rock? Yeah, you think we're hating on The Rock, really? That's what you really think that we're hating on The Rock? No, but we also, and you're seeing with the, with the feedback today, what all these fans are about is everyone's passionate about DC and wants to see a DC universe that is consistent and awesome. And like when you, when you, and you got to understand, these are the fans like us, we're scarred, right, by the, by the DC Universe experience at the movies over the past, not just 10 years. You can go all the way back to, you know, post, you know, the, the, the Nolan franchise. And even when Superman Returns came out and I was a mess, like, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of baggage here. And when you put something like that out, people get worried because we've been down this path before and we've seen this studio go all over the map without success. And we yeah. don't want to see it messed up again. And we feel like, look, you got new leadership. That's a chance, maybe, to put the ship in the, you know, on the right, in the right course. And stuff like this, that's not the right course. And it has nothing to do with what I said. It's not about the rock. I know the rock wants to be about the rock, but the criticism is not about him. It's about the message he's delivering about making a successful universe yeah. in superhero movies. Okay. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, man. What the hell is going on with DC? What, wh who's at the helm of all this? Obviously, Sasloff, but obviously, he's not gonna. I, I mean, he has the ultimate say, right? I mean, he's trying to extract himself from disaster after disaster. <laughs> That's what's happening. But I mean, but, uh, yeah. Flashpoint is definitely gonna be in the crosshairs, I think. I think it's inevitable. So, and we've been and saying the, it, right? if, Black Adam, if Black Adam bombs, that will be one more disaster that he's got to sort out. If Black Adam bombs, no way Flashpoint gets gets green gets put in theaters. I think it's done. I think that whole era has to be just destroyed and just burned. It has to go. 
Oh, the way of 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 what's the movie? The Office Space when they take the 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 the, the like Xerox the copy, yeah. yeah, and just just let it just let it light it on fire and walk away. That shit is over. It's over. Yo, it's over. Yo, DCEU is over. It's time for something new because what they've been what, what we've gotten is just nothing. It's just been nothing but fighting. Yo, that's all it is. We've been fighting each other for something that we should be celebrating, you know, the DCEU. But it's been whack. I'm sorry, it's been whack. That's I'm all good with that. Just make sure that Matt Reeves has a little bit of electricity in. Oh no, no. That's Listen, it. when I'm talking about the DCEU, as long as he's got that, the lights. Yeah, yeah no, no, I'm not. If I'm talking about the DCEU, I'm talking about that 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 part. Nolan, he's on a he's at he's at the same level as I have him with the MCU. I agree. He's at a he's in a different level. I don't that's sacred ground right there. Um yeah, let's know in the comment section below. This is a listen, I hope I don't get any like <laughs> hate comments. Yo, again, the rock is is capable of a lot of great things, but he's just doing what he wants, and what he wants is whack. And he just has a bunch of yes men. I don't care who gets upset. It, it, it it's it's the truth. But whatever The Rock does, people make it happen. That's why he has people that work for him. So, um, yeah, it sucks, but it's the truth. And I don't think we're heading in the right direction. And um, let us know in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>